Fratelli d'Italia, l'Italia se desta. Ciao, benvenuti su LIS, Learn Italian Songs, Learn Italian with Songs. Io sono Pietro and in this channel we sing famous Italian songs and translate them word by word while throwing a pinch of grammar and a dash of culture in the mix. And today we're going to translate the Italian national anthem, Il Canto degli Italiani. And we're finally here, the Italian national anthem. And let's face it, it is not as majestic as God save our gracious queen, long live our noble queen, God save the Queen. Nor as triumphant as Allons enfants de la patrie et le jour de gloire est arrivé. Or as dramatic as Rajas Fisen Ayanasia Drjava. No, it is our marching and sparkling national anthem. Officially Il Canto degli Italiani, but better known as Fratelli d'Italia, as the first line goes, or Linno di Mameli, from the name of its author, this anthem had the status of provisional up until 2017, when it was finally declared Italy's official national anthem. And this is another song of the second season in which the language is somehow archaic and solemn. But don't worry, I'm here to help you figure out the meaning of each line. And if you watch this video till the end, you will have a better understanding than probably, I don't know, let's say 85-90% of the Italian people who never got to learn the words of their anthem properly, let alone understand their meaning, and who are not aware that the national anthem has a lot more than the first two verses and the chorus, which are heard during the official events. There are several other verses which are full of historical references. Even the meaning of the widely known first part of the song is not always clear to all Italians. In this video we will translate step by step the parts of the national anthem which are well known and also some of the parts which are not well known but which contain a lot of easy words and almost no historical references. Now a quick word about the author and the origin of this anthem. The music was composed by Michele Novaro and the lyrics were written around 1847 by 20 year old Goffredo Mameli. He was an Italian patriot and poet who died in Rome in a battle against the French at just 21 years of age. Now, as you might remember from our video on Va Pensiero, this was the Italian Risorgimento period, i.e. the period that led to the birth of a unified Italy, more or less, more or less, like the one we have today. Now on to the translation and explanations. And the next time you watch a football match, and I mean soccer for you North Americans, in which the Italian national team is playing, try to read the lips of the players while the anthem is playing. You're very likely in for some funny moments. schiava di Roma e Dio la creò fratelli d'Italia l'Italia se desta dell'elmo di Cipio se cinta la testa dove la 
vittoria le porga la chioma che schiava di Roma e Dio la creò stringiamoci a corte siamo pronti alla morte stringiamoci a corte l'Italia chiamò stringiamoci a corte siamo pronti alla morte siamo pronti alla morte l'Italia chiamò Siamo da secoli calpesti derisi perché non siamo popolo, perché siamo divisi, raccolgaci un'unica bandiera, una speme di fonte. Assieme, già l'ora sono. Uniamoci, amiamoci, l'unione e l'amore rivelano ai popoli le vie del Signore. Giuriamo far libero il suolo natio, uniti per Dio, chi vincerci può. Stringiamoci a corte, siamo pronti alla morte. Stringiamoci a corte, l'Italia chiamò. Stringiamoci a corte, siamo pronti alla morte. Siamo pronti alla morte, l'Italia chiamò. Sì, sì, I forgot two things. Uh, one is the very important last word and last syllable of the Italian national anthem, which is a big fat C, a big yes. So when Italy calls, we answer yes. And we had agreed with the musicians to say a very loud yes or C at the end of the song, but we all forgot. And this brings me to the second thing that I forgot, which is to introduce you to my dear friends and awesome musicians Giulio on keyboards and Daniele on drums. We actually have been playing together for maybe more than 12 years now and we play, we have a trio in which we play a totally different genre of music and if you're curious I will leave something in the description below. On to the translation and as it happened for Va Pensiero, this is the second time that I've recorded the explanation section for the translation of this song. Uh, the first time that I tried to explain the Italian national anthem I was focusing on every little detail and the explanation got messy and confused very quickly so I decided to uh, create a, a simpler explanation. So no more handwritten material here. As you can see there are a lot of nasty pencil signs and I will switch to a uh, printed out uh, um, piece of paper here, sheet of paper, and so on to the explanation. So this translation has some parts which require in-depth explanations and therefore I printed out a couple of sheets of paper to make everything clear with a bit of fancy color and lettering. The color cut is as follows. The original words of the song will be in blue, uh, when the Italian of the anthem is too different from today's standard Italian or simply too hard to understand, there will be a paraphrase in purple or violet or whatever you want to call this color here. And in black you will find the translation in English and as I told you before you will see that the difficult part, the one that Italian themselves have a hard time understanding, is the very first uh, verse, i.e. the one that is widely known and sung at official events. So on to the real translation now. Let's start with the title, Il Canto degli Italiani means the song or the chant or the hymn of the Italians. Now, canto is not really song because a song would be canzone, but we could easily translate this as the song of the Italians. And the first line is quite easy. Fratelli d'Italia is literally brothers of D is short, D apostrophe is short for D uh, of Italy, brothers of Italy. L'Italia sedesta. L'Italia sedesta in standard modern Italian would be l'Italia si è svegliata. The apostrophe should come after the last letter of the word, while the accent should be written right above 
um, the accented or stressed letter. I still remember when I was in primary school and my teacher, La Maestra Dina, gave us this explanation that I will never forget. When a word loses its last letter, the second last letter is sad because she has lost a friend and so she cries and the apostrophe is her teardrop. Now, we could discuss more about apostrophes and accents and stuff like that, but I have decided to keep grammar explanations to a minimum. So maybe in the next few videos I will talk about the difference here and there between accents and, and apostrophes, but always in bite-sized explanations. Now, this verb here, destarsi, is only used in everyday Italian in an idiom which is sogno o son desto, and literally it means uh, am I dreaming or am I awake? When you find yourself in a sort of surprising uh, situation, you could say sogno o son desto, but apart from that, we would say svegliarsi, which means um, to wake up, or alzarsi, which means to get up. So l'Italia sedesta means Italy has awoken herself, or uh, more naturally, Italy is awake. Dell'elmo di Scipio se cinta la testa. Now these two lines, they go together, and I um, played a bit with the word order. Si è cinta la testa con l'elmo di Scipio. And this means she girded her head with the helmet of Scipio. Now, this refers to Scipio, or Publio Cornelio Scipione Africano, who was a Roman general and one of the best military commanders of all time, and he is famous for his achievements in the Punic Wars. Cinta, here is a verb, but it could also be a noun, and cinta is another way to say belt. It could be cintura or cinta, and this gives you the idea that Italy put the helmet of Scipio around or on her head. Okay, and just a quick note on the word elmo. Now, helmet in English can mean either this kind of helmet or this kind of helmet, like a motorcycle or bicycle helmet. Whereas in Italian, there are two different words. The helmet, the one that fell on the ground right now is elmo, the similar word. Whereas this one, for motorcycle or bicycles in this case, is called casco. Now, we are talking about Italy here, and now we will proceed uh, with talking about victory. Now, remember that in Italian, every noun has to have a gender. It must be either male or female. And Italy is a female uh, name, and victory is also a female name. Where is victory? Dove? Where? is the victory, and victory, I uh, highlighted the word victory in yellow, and then I grouped together the following lines. So where is victory? Le porga la chioma, che schiava di Roma e Dio la creò. Now, on to a sort of Italian paraphrase. Possa la vittoria porgere la chioma a lei, all'Italia, perché il Dio creò la vittoria come schiava di Roma. So this in English would be some, something like May victory offer her head of hair. Chioma is a head of hair to her, to Italy, because God created victory as a slave to Rome and hangs as a slave to Italy. In ancient Rome, female slaves had their hair cut. So this line means that victory will be a slave to Rome. So, where is the victory? May victory offer her head of hair to whom? To Italy. Why? Because God created um, victory as a slave uh, of uh, Rome and so uh, a slave to Italy. Then it continues with stringiamci a corte. Now, apart from this stringiamci, which in its standard Italian would be stringiamoci, okay, mm, the rest of, of the line is quite easy. Let's unite, let's be tight. To stringere is to be tight. In the cohort, I so wanted to use this helmet and sword again. So here you have an explanation 
A cohorte or cohort in English was a military unit of the Roman legion. Siam pronti alla morte means we are ready for the death. Okay, we're ready, we're ready to die. We're ready for the death. And then it repeats, and then it repeats. Siam pronti alla morte, we are ready for, for death. L'Italia chiamò. Italy or the Italy called. And then the second verse, well, the second verse that I sang in, in the version of the song is Noi siamo da secoli. And this is uh, easier. We have been, actually this would be, we are from centuries, okay? But we have been for centuries. Calpesti and derisi. Calpestare means to trod. So we have been downtrodden and marked, okay? Perché non siamo popolo? Because we are not a people, so we're not united. Perché siamo divisi? Because we are divided. And this is raccolgaci un'unica. May one only what? Bandiera una speme. May one only flag and one only hope gather us or unite us. To raccogliere it means to gather something, okay? But in this case, it means may one flag and one uh, unique or one only hope, one single hope unite us. And then it goes on saying diffonderci insieme and it means to melt or to fuse together, fuse us together. Già l'ora suonò, and I have to change and put it here. Already, già, the hour has struck. So like the, the bells of a, of a bell tower, okay. And then it continues with, oh, sorry, I forgot to put the uh, a space here. Uniamoci, amiamoci. And so this, these chi, it means ourselves. So let us unite, let us love each other. And then it proceeds by saying l'unione e l'amore, the union and the love, if we want to be uh, literal. Rivelano i popoli, reveal to the people what do they reveal? The union and the love. Unity and love reveal to the people what? Le vie del Signore. The ways of the del, remember, is the più il. Okay, and il is one of the many ways of saying the, the ways of the Lord. And then it proceeds by saying, giuriamo far libero. We swear to free. Um, far libero. Uh, it, Literally, it would mean to make free. We swear to make free what? Il suolo natio, the native land. Okay, as we have seen in Vapensiero, suolo means land, but you can see the similar similarities between this word and the word soil. So, our native land. Uniti per Dio, united for God. Chi vincerci può? Who? Win us, win us, can, who can win us? If, you, if we are united for God, who can win us? Mamma mia, you've watched the video till the end. Complimenti. Now, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe and share. And if you need some useful resources for learners of Italian, check the description below. And until next time, arrivederci. Ciao e benvenuti a LISC, Learn Italian with Calisthenics. This is the channel where we learn the Italian language through gymnastic exercises. Today's exercise is the human flag, the Italian human flag.